Hello all. Whoa. Hello all. Go oh, ahead, man. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. I had these stupid deafening things on these iMac headphones. They cut out all the noise, and I have a lot of noise. You guys know that. So it's Dire Straits time. Sorry, everyone. It's Dire Straits time, money for nothing. You know you're in for a treat. I think a lot of us will know the song. I'm revisiting it. It's from 1985. Um, yeah, and I'm just looking forward to listening to this listening to this with fresh ears. So stay with me, guys, and we'll talk about it as we go along, as we always do. Thank you very much. Great opening. You're two minutes into an eight-minute song, and it feels like ten seconds. Classic opening. That's um, <coughs> Sting with the falsetto backing vocals there. He co-wrote this. But just, you know, for a song to be that brave back in 1985, right, to be eight minutes long and still be the monster it went on to become, had to be made on something good, right? Had to be. Oh, I love that opening. So... Refreshing. Look at that in your nose. That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing and your chicks for free. Now that ain't working. That's the way you do it. Let me tell you, them guys ain't dumb. Maybe get a pistol on your little finger. Baby, get a blister on your thumb We got to install microwave ovens Custom kitchen deliveries We got to move these refrigerators We got to move these color TVs The little faggot with the earring in the meat yeah, buddy, that's his own hair. Yeah. The little faggot got his own jet airplane. The little faggot, he's a millionaire. We oh my god. <laughs> that verse, that would be as popular as a fart in a closed room nowadays. But it's of its time, and we'll talk about it later. Um, you know the verse that they've just gone through there. Wow. But it's just a great song, right? You can hear Notfler's voice, you can hear Sting in the background, Gordon Sumner. Um, but there's a lot to this song, as you can tell by what they're saying already. Yeah, let's enjoy it some more, guys. We got to install microwave ovens, custom kitchen deliveries. We got to move these refrigerators, we got to move these color TVs. Huh. 
that mama, she got it sticking in the camera, man. I look at her so And he's up there. What's that? Hawaiian noises. He's banging on the bundles like a chimpanzee. Oh, that ain't really work. That's the way you do it. Get your money for nothing. Get your checks for free. We got some pieces for a microwave oven. Custom kitchen delivery. That ain't working, that's the way you do it You play the guitar on the MTV That ain't working, that's the way you do it Money for nothing and your chicks for free Money for nothing Chicks for free Money for nothing Chicks for free when you listen to the song, right, what are you thinking it's about? Is it really obvious? Has it got hidden meanings? But listen to the guitar music. He's thrown in those riffs, hooks. They've got the bridge, verse, chorus. It's all going on. And it's so catchy. But did you hear them laughing? Did you hear Not for laughing at a part of the song? I mean, if you've heard this song, why was he laughing? Why? It's so good. It's just such a good song. What a, just what a great eight minutes I've just had, and I hope you guys are going to stick with me another minute. So, from the Brothers Norms album, 1985, sold like a bazillion copies. I think it's 30-odd million. 
I, they released three or four singles from this album, but I think that the ones we'll know pretty much, both Side of the Atlantic and most of Europe, is Walk of Life, Money for Nothing, and probably Brothers in Arms. Um, but altogether an amazing album. I think you know they've got a, a discography that that's why they're massive. That's why they still sit in the musical tastes of millions around the world as a band. That doesn't really tour anymore, obviously. But what a song. Is the song poking fun at pop stars, saying you think, you know... Because these are two working-class guys, right? Both brought up in the North East, both born and bred in the North East of England. Sting from World's End, I think, um, Nautilus somewhere up in Durham somewhere, maybe Washington way, I'm not sure. But definitely in the North East, both of them. So they've come from that working class background. Sting's dad was a was a milkman, delivered milk. Sting was a teacher. In the end, in World's End, but those lines in that song, I just think it. You can take this either way you want. I think they're laughing. So are they laughing at the fact that I don't certainly won't think they'll be laughing at the fans. I think they're laughing at the fact that you know everybody thinks that you just get up on stage play a guitar and you have the rock star life with the chicks for free and the money for nothing. That's not true. Might be true now, it wasn't then. Um, these guys toured, you know, the Sting, the Police. And the whole song really, they'd, it's like two working guys going out, delivering fridges and the working class men looking at a TV screen going, have you seen that? We have to go to work, fit fridges and microwaves and lights and do a job. And these idiots get up on stage, play a guitar, get a sore thumb and make millions. There's a kind of a, it's a kind of satire. Are they poking fun at themselves, poking fun at all of it? it but it doesn't matter. There's some, there's some great feelings you get from that song. Just the music was bouncy and joyous and fun. You know, even if the song's got a certain satirical level to it, poking fun at itself, um... It's great. I loved it. Only my second reaction dies straight. I know criminal guys, but you let me know where I need to go next off all the albums, Street Corner, Alchemy. You pick your, this album, not for his own music. Great stuff, great stuff. If I've earned your subscription, guys, click join. If I haven't, and join, click and leave a like. That's all I ask. Till next time, guys, you take care.